Hey guys, this is John Mack. So today I'm at Yellow Co-working Space. You may have seen some clips from this place before. Um, I love being here. There's so many awesome people. Patty that runs the place. She's really good at taking care of the garden and the outside greeneries and stuff. So it's a good, it's a good energy place. And there's a bunch of interesting people working on interesting stuff. So it's a good place to come. Here at uh, Yellow, she's a master coffee barista. She's uh, yeah, she's making great coffee. So in this video today, I wanted to talk about um, fear, and I wanted to talk about how you can get some more motivation in your life and try to elevate your energy in this time we are in now. So I wanted to talk about this thing with. Um, the current madness of the pandemic going on because there's too many people being affected by the madness and the, about the fear. Uh, so what I've told people is that the pandemic uh, is more about the fear on the planet than it is about the virus. That's my perspective at least. So the way I, the way I see it is that, um, and I'm pretty rough with that with people and a lot of people get pissed off when I talk about it. Some people don't even unfollow me. It's just been two so far but I don't care. Um, I don't really buy into the whole uh, the, the the story of what's unfolding, and that's why I also wanted to talk about these things for you guys, so you can make some new decisions on how you want to feel and how you want to focus on your reality. Because um, one of my favorite topics is to talk about dimensional shifts in, in timeline jumps and how we create a reality. Because when you understand those concepts you will start to make new choices in life and you will start to feed your mind with new stuff, new new um, content that benefits your mind. We know that a lot of people, most people, they follow the news of what's going on on the planet. And I have a bunch of friends in Norway that, you know, they keep updating me on, on what's going on. And um, especially to me, it seems like Norwegians are pretty easy to fool. Um, they, they follow the norms and they follow the news and they believe in the big brother the government telling them exactly what's going on and I guess like most people that follow the news as a trusted source of information but there's too much fear propaganda going on too much fear um, fear pushing I would say and this affects people so I would ask the question I mean aren't you tired of being to hear about the virus and the COVID madness and the restrictions and the lockdowns and just having that, you know, fear of your own health. Um, I know a lot of people really freak out. So for my part, I'm telling people that um, there's too much weir weird stuff going on with the whole uh, unfoldment of this pandemic. So I don't buy into the whole story, really. I could uh, probably argue that, you know, there are some form of um, a, a flu that's stronger than normal. Um, but there's just um, too much conflict in facts and things going on. So, uh, and when it comes to pushing of vaccines, that's pretty crazy, I think. I remember a few years back in Norway, there was um, there was a time there was uh, a huge push uh, and fear around the, the what's it called the chicken flu, something like that. And then later we had the we had the swine flu, um, and I remember there was this German company. Um, I can't remember the name completely, Smith Klein, something like that. Trying to push the vaccine into Norway, they wanted to sell this in Norway. And uh, after some time, we didn't hear more about that. So I don't know what happened. But it seems like this time, there's a, a bigger agenda. There's more, it's a, it's a bigger, um, it's, it's a bigger push uh, to, to keep people in fear and to, to push this vaccine. And uh, I just, I can tell you guys that I am not going to have that uh, experimental cocktail in my blood system. So, um, and it seems like from the updates I've been getting from friends in Norway, 
that um, the World Health Organization now are talking about some where it's just going on these COVID tests. They don't really, uh, it doesn't really hold up. And uh, all these doctors and scientists now coming out saying that it's just a joke. Uh, many of these tests are just a joke. And um, the last number that I heard is, um, you know, from Norway is that so far, um, last time I got a message from a friend of mine is that in the news in, in Norway now, they say 33 people have died from the new vaccine so far. So, yeah. So anyway, I don't want to talk too much about the, the pandemic or, or COVID at all, um, because you've heard enough about that. What I'm trying to, to tell you here is that there's, there might be a different story than what the news presents. And we know that the news is not really a, a channel for motivational, um, personal motivational content, personal growth, happiness. Uh, the, the news is drama and fear, you know that. You've been around for some time and you know that. So one of the things I would suggest to um, lift, to raise your energy and start to feel better and focus on a new reality and get away from all this madness is uh, start, stop watching the news and stop talking to people about this uh, shit going on. And, um, and start to look into uh, new information. What I can tell you people is that the last months I have had the, the need to upgrade my mindset uh, for what's been happening to me since October. So I've had, I can tell you I've been having a, a pretty profound um, personal, I would say, personal upgrade and, and uh, improvement in my mm, feeling about life and how much control I have, the, my mindset and programming around manifesting our lives. And I'm starting to see that wherever I go now, I'm getting the same kind of information, the same, it's like it's coming from the same source, right? Even the Bible talks some of, about some of the things that has to do with manifesting our lives because I guess it, I guess we just start to understand it in a new way now. So one of the books I wanted to talk about uh, because I have been reading a lot. One of, one of the books I wanted to talk about is uh, from a writer called uh, Dolores Cannon and I know some of you have heard about her. Uh, she was one of the more famous uh, therapists in the United States that have been doing regression therapy. So that's about taking people back in time and that can be back to your childhood or they can be back to another life before that even and that's how she, uh, she's been getting um, a whole bunch of information which have turned out to be 17 books I think I read eight um, or nine of those books and it um, among a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm reading on a metaphysical level um, and it's been uh, really enlightening to see, um, to kind of, for me, it's like getting a confirmation on um, my view of reality and why we are here. So, to, so to start to get away from some of the fear and focus on your future timeline, a more positive timeline, you have to start to filter uh, people, places, and information. Those are the most important things you start to to modify to be able to navigate into a different timeline and more positive future and then you start to look into some new information on a more spiritual and metaphysical level because that's where you will start to understand life in a more deeper way so one of the books i want to mention this time is um, is the book called um, the three waves of volunteers and the new earth it's a very famous book and it's talking about the three waves of people that have been coming to this planet as a soul to help uplift humanity with their energy. Uh, one of the pages, I want to put it up on the screen here right now. So one of these pages you see here is um, from, from that book um, where one of Dolores' um, clients are in a session and Dolores Cannon is she don't have any you know special skills like channeling she's not channeling information she's been documenting from thousands of clients that she have had through the years and many of these clients start to share information from a much deeper level uh, and there are sometimes also other entities and group entities talking through these individuals which have turned out to be 17 books of deep knowledge about reality 
Uh, and we can see here that one of these books says that um, you know government and uh, and um, the medical industry and um, you know people with great power will try to to put in motion conflict and fear to try to control humanity. I mean, it's not news. This is not news at all. So this is why I, I talk about these things in the way I do. This is why I don't really agree, um, you know, completely and flat out about the whole COVID situation because there are plans in works for stuff like this. And you should not, you should also not be afraid of that because there are positive and negative forces on, the, on this planet. So, so it's about making choices and it's about uh, turning your head and start to look in a different direction in a more positive future and start to make the changes that I mentioned to you to start you start by you know filtering people uh, uh, information and places but also, also food I would say to make sure that you are able to to think clearly and, and feel energized in your body to make these changes so so learning about deeper knowledge, uh, metaphysical concepts, spiritual concepts is going to put you in a different mindset. And you're not going to learn anything of, these, of this type of knowledge from school, from the traditional ways of living. So. Yeah, I've been talking about uh, the importance of going to uh, or attracting yourself to nice places to be. Uh, places that have a high vibe or at least feels good to be. Uh, right now I'm at uh, Chef Tao's restaurant. I was recommended that by a friend of mine. And he got a coffee shop here on the, uh, the neighbor building. Pretty cool place. It's, um, they have used uh, old traditional buildings, uh, pulled them down from the countryside. And uh, this one turned out to be a coffee shop. This one seems to be his office, including his dogs. Okay, so another book I'm reading right now is this one. I don't know if it's mirrored or not. You can see it right here. This book is called The Nature of Personal Reality. Um, this is by uh, Seth, channeled by Jane Roberts. So this is one of the more famous people that I talk about on this planet that have been bringing us really high level information on a metaphysical and spiritual level for many years. This book, I believe, came out in 19... It started to, to get channeled in 1972, and I believe it was out in uh, 73. So, it's old knowledge, but it's been around for a long time and channeling is not really something new. And I'm talking about these things because it's been really helping for my part to uh, upgrade my mindset and um, view the reality in a totally different way and just know that I have more control. I think one thing that's um, important for, for people to learn more about at this time is that the reality we experience, like I've said, are created by us because we put the thoughts out into the matrix, uh, it solidifies in a way and it becomes a physical reality. This is um, happening both on a personal and individual level, but also on a collective level because we agree to certain uh, global events and, and facts and truths and uh, the reality unfolding in general. Another book I wanted to mention that I mentioned before is um, a book about reality transurfing. Reality transurfing is a concept that's coming from um, a Russian author that's been getting a lot of attention for, for the concept of reality transurfing. And it's basically a metaphysical book about how to shift your reality, that you have choices, that the thoughts we think starts to um, condense energy into matter in the field of all possibilities. So that's why I talk about these things because I like to have control of my reality. I like to think that we have we have free will and we can create our reality. 
and um, at the, the time you're in now, it's super important for you to, to make sure that you trust your own power and make changes so that you can move into a better reality that's more in the uh, landscape of your dreams, I would say. So this is basically what I wanted to talk about today. Try to move away from the pandemic fear and start to dive into learning more about reality on a deeper level so you can see how much exciting and, and magical stuff you can learn about and um, start to actually construct and create your reality. We start to construct our reality by fantasizing and visualizing. You, you have to know what you want. You can write it up on a paper and then you start to visualize this. You picture it and you start to play it over and over again and um, you gradually put more and more energy into this. I'm not going to talk too much about manifesting right now in this video. It could be a t topic for later. But I just want to, um, to talk about this because I've been getting so many updates from friends and, and uh, my connections different places in the world lately that are too focused on what's going on in the reality. So one thing I can mention is that the reality that you observe every day when you go out is constructed and created by you. Your version of your reality is created by you, by your thoughts. And whatever you focus on is going to get stronger and stronger and there's going to be more of it. So if you keep mind, you know, if you keep um, feeding yourself mind fucks from the news every day and you keep that energy alive and you focus more and more on that, that's exactly what you're going to get. And you're going to live in fear and you're going to, um, you're going to affect your immune system in your body and it's also going to um, affect the, the DNA in a over a long-term period. So that's how we know, we do know that fear is a really bad thing for the human body and mind because it do affect your immune system and all the way into the DNA, which is not good. Okay, so before I end this video, I just want to ask you a, um, for, a, uh, for some help. Um, I would like some comment and feedback on something new I'm about to create for my website. I wanna help people make shifts. Uh, and I want to make a step-by-step -step guide on how to turn your life into another timeline, to shift and jump timelines, basically creating another reality, almost in a magical way. One of the things I wanted to ask you, what are the steps that you would like to know more about? What should I put in this guide? So if you can help me with that, that would be amazing, and I'm going to make it for as a free download on my website. But I would like to know more about what you need to know to make a shift in your life and move into the reality that you want. So let me know and also follow me on Instagram. Uh, that's where you will find it's basically my only social channel that I care about. I don't give a shit about Facebook. So you'll find me on Instagram and you can follow along my daily life if you want to know more about what I do and what I talk about. In the meantime, stay well.